want you to stay within a particular cadence, okay. and that's about uh, a range, it, it'll show green if it's good. Yeah, so we want to stay around a cadence of 90, you can go up 5, and you can go down 5, so 295 and 85. If you go above 95, it's, it's going to show red, if you go below 85, it's going to show blue, and if you're in that good range, it'll show green. Okay. Stay in the green okay. as long as you can, and go all the way out, maximum effort till you can't turn the pedals anymore. Okay. okay. Um, also, uh, the watts it's set at 125, and then it's incrementally going to move up as we kind of go along. You can see here 125, 160, 195, blah, blah, blah. so it will control the resistance, and we can hit, uh, remove uh, extraneous variables by making sure that the Cyclist 2 maintains the wattage that you're working against and if you stay in that cadence window then we're even all the way up through it and the only variable is your cardiovascular system's ability to take up move oxygen through the alveoli move it to mitochondria in your muscle cells and make atp and that's the key up here and that'll tell us volumes and stuff Aubrey's also going to draw blood from the side and then we'll have two different lenses uh, gas analysis to look at your LT and actual measuring every millimole of lactate in your blood. So we're looking at it from two different perspectives. Cool. We have clock, we have pulse. And we've got data. This is good, Michael. Nice and low. It's uh, 0.77 on the left side That's good.